My name is Antonio Carroll. I'm going to teach you some history on petrograss. We'll start with the people. Ancient Anasazi people were the first people to live and strive throughout the canyon. Petrograss were used to communicate. Here they grew corn, beans, squash, and other plants, and then they started living in the canyon, building runes. Here you got scorpion used as a weapon, squeezing their venom out, putting inside pottery, dipping their arrow tips in them to slow their prey and to weaken them. Friendship and gathering, people united and worked together. And the Sazi people lived in Chaco Canyon where there was thousands and thousands. Friendship and gathering. Full moon and eclipse were used to judge what year, what month they were on by judging the stars and the moon. River of Life, if you look behind me, the canyon goes in and out. It brought water resource, plant resource. It brought away where Anasazis build their rooms and canyon walls like White House and Mummy Cave. Here you got Kiva, ceremonial, prayers and singing. Kiva was done at night time, they call it night chanting, waiting for the sun to rise. Holy people and spirit people answer and gather prayers in the morning. You got antelopes. Antelopes were used for three elements. One was for food. Two was to use their skin for clothing. Three was to use their horns for garden tools to weapons. The last guy is called the hunchback cocopelli flute player, fertility. He brought plant life, planted a seed, walked and danced over it, playing his flute player that called for rain. Rain came to make corn to emerge and grow, bringing happiness and goodness. From Anasazi to us Native Americans today, we still use the tip of the corn pollen as a blessing way. Um, potteries were used throughout kivas for prayer, singing, ceremonial, food, and water. Life and history of Anasazi pictographs during the 900s and 1100s of Canyon Tiche. Gentlemen and ladies and gentlemen back home. Thank you. I hope.